Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're at the Cobra Tour Truck today at Encinitas Ranch Golf Club in Southern California. I've got Mike Hearn with me, who's the director of fitting for Cobra Golf. Mike, how's it going? Doing great. How are you, Chris? Awesome. Thanks for having us out today. Hey, thanks for coming back. You know, it's been a year and it's just really flying by. So it is. Thanks for it coming is. back. And as usual, this setting's just unbelievable. It's awesome. I don't know how you manage working here year round. <laughs> it's, it's real tough with the ocean views and the breeze and the sunshine, right? So. We're out today testing brand new F9 Speedback golf clubs from Cobra. You and I are specifically going to talk about the irons. I got a chance to do some testing with these today. Came away really impressed. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's, uh, I think at Cobra, we've really done a really nice job of really coming up with something that's very uh, kind of unique and very like kind of focused and driven on the, uh, the technology. So with the speed back, we're getting obviously the CG lower. That's the thing I'm seeing on the launch monitor, especially with you today, kind of testing it. I'm getting about a club more in distance and carry. Like your typical number is like 161, which is a really good seven iron carry number for the average golfer. But today we're getting like 170 to 175 in carry. So that's just a testament to the awesome technology brought to you in the uh, speed back iron. Yeah, and the, what stood out is it wasn't just, you know, that I was hitting these low knuckle balls. It, the ball, the launch angles were good. The land angles were good. All the numbers were really good. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, what we're seeing, like a lot of game improvement irons are definitely spinning the golf ball lower, but if the launch angles are low, that's not gonna be a good fit. So in this case, we're getting more launch angle and the landing angles are right there at 45 plus. So you're still getting the benefits of that nice high knuckle ball max distance and you're still getting stopping power on the greens which is definitely a big benefit for anyone looking to improve their iron game. Now this is going to be categorized as a game improvement iron but in the playing position it's got a really clean look. Yeah absolutely so I think from the bottom down that's how we're getting the CG very wide but with the kind of the sole kind of grounded like that the engineers are obviously to keep that top line really really traditional looking and not a lot of offset so I think it really covers some of this probably in that mid to low handicap range all the way to a beginner golfer so I think it's done a nice job of staying traditional with a lot of technology. Yeah to me the big thing is the, the offset you know a lot of the game improvement irons have so much and you feel like you're just going to hit it miles left not the case here at all the other thing that stood out is this does not feel like a game improvement iron. The feel is very solid, very crisp. I know the engineers did a lot of work to try to achieve that. Yeah, absolutely. With the carbon kind of cavity back, you've got some polymer insert. So it's almost kind of giving that forge buttery feel with the cast iron. I think the, the notion is a lot of people go out there and get game improvement irons and they get that really clacky, loud sound, not a, a lot of vibration impact. This is very smooth and I think it gives you a lot of confidence when you make a good strike at it. And I also want to briefly touch on the fact that I got to hit the one length version as well. Yes. I wanted to hit the long iron because I think that's what you want to see is it how it's going to perform and I feel like from F7 to F8 and now to F9 the subtle changes that are being made continue to improve performance because I saw a lot better launch with the five iron in the one length with the shorter length shaft than I did say a couple generations ago. Yeah, absolutely. So a good candidate for one lake, maybe you don't play a lot, maybe you're looking to kind of simplify things. So I would kind of encourage you to at least try it. Second swing is going to have all the fitting tools for one length. But the thing you're going to notice with the fire in between the variable and the one length is we've got a little wider sole in the one length, meaning the weight's going to be lower and deeper, meaning you're going to get the ball in the air a little easier. Another great addition is we've gone a little lighter with the steel shaft and in the graphite, just in that five iron to kind of get you more speed, and that's also going to help you kind of improve your launch and spin characteristics. Yeah, like Mike mentioned, if you're a second swing customer, you can get into one of our stores and get fit. F9 is definitely going to be worth taking a look at this year. If you're somebody who's looking for a little better performance, looking to hit a few more greens, of course, we'll take your old irons in on trade and hopefully help you play some better golf in 2019. Mike, we appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it.